1983, Yellowbeard. I'm having a bit of a binge on Monty Python and their other type movies like um, Fierce Creatures. I just did The Life of Brian, which was a lot funnier than I remember. I know it was banned for about 30 years. And some countries still have it as illegal. But um, Life of Brian is still pretty good. Uh, this one is Yellowbeard, and it's Treasure Island kind of thing. And it's completely stupid, as it should be for Monty Python. The only thing I don't like about it is the, the the main guy's a pirate and he killed like 50,000 people they went to prison for 20 years then brought a cat because they were going to try and screw him over to get the treasure and he gets out of prison doesn't rape his wife who he never had sex with he just raped her to get her uh, make a baby and he's there walking past a woman he's already walked past one woman Beryl Reed her name is and she was probably about 90 or that sort of an age in real life, went up to her, grabbed her, dragged her into the hedge, ripped her clothes off, raped her, and then ran away. And everyone just stood around like her husband and laughing. And now he's walking past these women of ill repute. Yes, he does have her hand right down inside her top. And then he walks up the stairs and grabs that one and over the shoulder and drags her inside to rape her. It's just done in such a blasé way, which is the humour, is that the way people were treated back then as not actually existing as humans. But then that is how most of the world still treats women. And it kind of fucks me up when you get people in countries like England. They keep going about wanting to change the law, change the world. Change it to what? As it is in the rest of the world? where you have girls getting their vaginas cut out because they're not considered human, where women and children are raped as from the time they're born, as in Russia, with a constant incest in Ireland. You want it to be countries like that? How about go back to how this country was 20 years ago, where people did actually have equal opportunities, equal rights, and it was one law for everyone, as opposed to the law only applies if you're a certain type. And back to the movie, whilst well, multitasking with YouTube and uh, whatever else is going on. There are quite a few scenes where you cringe, like with the rape, but there are also quite a few scenes where you just like bark a laugh out loud. This little girl, who's about, I don't know, five or six years old, she went up to this guy's adopted son, who was actually Yellowbird's son, and said, Three farthings for a piece of shit. What? No. And she threw a piece of shit in his face. Stepdaddy, or adopted daddy, whatever. The, the mother's a whore. Literally, she's a prostitute. So she basically just says, lots of people, you're a dad, you're a dad, you're a dad. Yeah, like modern times is not really. So this guy goes up to her. I'll give you three farthings for a piece of shit. And drops the money on the ground. She turns around and then kicks her up the ass and sends her down the um, coal chute. <laughs> yeah, um, very Monty Python humour. That's Peter Cook. He's fucking brilliant. If you do actually watch any of my reviews, if anyone ever does watch them, at now or never, probably. I don't know, maybe someday with somebody to watch them. If you did ever watch the one with Supergirl, this is the guy who played the boyfriend of the Cruella de Vil character. Funny actor. Always drunk. It gives you an idea of just how popular Monty Python were. 40 years ago. It is in crisis 39 years ago. Um, that's David Bowie. Barely gets three words in the entire movie. And um, yeah. Another creepy fucker from the past. I, I used to like his music. But the problem with living in the modern world is that you have access to their personal history. And it was a lot of underage sex. Back in his era. And the creepy fucking eyes. Really creepy eyes. <sighs> oh yeah, right. Okay, back to the movie. 